Food prices on the decline as bulk purchases subside. Police raid kidnappers then apprehend 109 illegal minors in Nasarawa state. NSA instructs police, EFCC, NFRU, Customs to crack down on forex speculators. On the foreign scene, United States urges temporary ceasefire in Israeli-Gaza conflict. Hello and welcome to the Trust TV News Update at this hour. I'm Aisha Salihu. We begin with the state of the economy. Prices of grains have begun to reduce in markets in Taraba State following the state government's inauguration of a committee on food security and management. The committee, headed by the Emir of Muri in Jalingo, Abbas Njida Tafida, is to, among other things, look into the rise in prices of grains in the state with a view to ensuring they remain within the reach of average citizens. Prices of green had skyrocketed in the markets across the state, with some sellers blaming the astronomical increase on bulk buying for commercial purposes. Others blamed some merchants who buy from farmers in large quantities and store to sell at higher prices when the greens become scarce. These activities, when left unchecked, shoot up prices, leaving the average Nigerian incapable of buying for everyday consumption. It is against this backdrop that the state government inaugurated a committee to check mid the activities of the farmers, marketers, and companies involved in the grain businesses in the state. According to some sellers, the prices of maize, rice, and other greens have reduced by almost 20 to 30,000 per bag since the committee came on board. Some customers said although they have heard that the prices have reduced, the situation according to them remains the same as other items are still expensive. Still, things are very, very coarse, and the mess is... Uh, 50,000 era, but I was hearing they said it's 45 by now, 47, you can get it 45, 46, 47. So, we are still waiting and see what the market will still I don't think so, like rice, this rice I'm carrying on my head, the one, the cheap one that we do for what we use it to do too. I bought this one, 2,500 naira per mudu. So this is, these are four mudus on my head. And then for maize, actually I have maize at home, but I learned that a bag is 52,000. So, but I didn't buy it because I have maize at home. There are a lot of health workers that have been recruited to augment this gap we are having in all the facilities. So, I would like to plead with the people that have been recruited to work in those facilities to be very upright. The Chairman Green's marketers, Jalingu Main Market, Yusuf Usman Nadalu, expressed dissatisfaction with the committee's order restricting the transportation of greens to other states, saying the move is counterproductive. According to him, since some of the greens like millet, guinea corn, and others were supplied from the neighboring states, stopping the transportation of maize and rice will lead to the scarcity of other greens that are not available in the state. He stressed the need for the government to control prices of other commodities in the market and not just greens. They called on the government to ensure that the prices of goods in the market are within the reach of the common man. Still addressing food shortage crisis, fish is one of the primary sources of protein consumed by millions of people worldwide. It is believed to offer nutritional benefits that are considered healthier than meat, especially for individuals aged 50 and above. Despite these benefits, the prices of protein-rich foods have experienced a sharp increase, leading to a decrease in customer patronage due to the inflation affecting their cost. Victoria Tokolo sent in the report as presented from our studio. Fish serves as a high-protein, low-fat dietary option, offering a myriad of health benefits. Particularly white-fleshed fish stands out as a leanest source of animal protein, while oily fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which is crucial for heart health. Currently, the cost of fish in the market, especially frozen varieties, has seen a significant price increase which mirrors the general trend affecting all food products. Specifically, a kilogram of frozen panla fish is now priced at 3,000 naira, while a kilogram of croaker fish is being sold for 4,500. Also, meat which is less commonly consumed by the elderly due to health concerns has also experienced a price hike. The once common 500 naira portion of meat is no longer available 
and the 1,000 Naira portion now yields merely 3 to 4 pieces. Is one fish is two thousand now. Before we they buy titles, maybe fifteen thousand. Now titles is one or ten. One or ten. For ten now is fifty thousand plus. What happened? To buy fish, to sell in market, to eat in market, to eat in fish now is problem. Market is not cost too much. Everybody don't see money. Carry go for what we get. Ah, shall all go to? I sell with cement. Only no rich. Let's have all the. Currently, there is a noticeable preference for fish over meat, particularly among the elderly population. Nigerian citizens who favor fish over meat have highlighted the challenges they face when purchasing a kilogram of fish. All edda, I beg you. Although fish remains a widely recognized and healthy food option, consumers are, however, finding it increasingly challenging to afford it due to rising prices. They are urging the Nigerian government to address the issue and make fish more accessible and affordable for all. 50 trucks conveying foodstuff out of the country to Niger Republic were intercepted on Monday by the Zamfara State Transport Agency. The agency, which was enforcing the presidential directive, meant to arrest the food crisis and hoarding, granted the trucks loaded with assorted grains. Confirming the interception of the 50 trucks in Zamfara, Sheikh Hussani, an indigen of Zurmi town in Zurmi local government area of the state, said on Monday, that the vehicles were stopped at Gidanjaja village, close to the Nigerian borders with Niger Republic. President Bola Tinubu last Thursday ordered the trial of the National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu, the Inspector General of Police Kayode Betokun, and the Director General of the Department of State Services Yusuf Bichi to collaborate with state governors and go after those herding foodstuff. On Sunday, the Nigeria Customs Service said it stopped 15 trailers conveying foodstuff through the Sokoto borders to Niger Republic. And now to security matters. The Nigerian Air Force says its troops deployed at Durbunde in Takai local government area of Kano State have arrested a 35-year-old high-profile kidnapper, Isa Abdul. A statement by the NAF Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Vice Marshal Edward Gapquet, said Abdul was arrested on Monday at about 6.30 p.m. in a well-coordinated operation following credible intelligence on the hideout of the notorious kidnapper and his boys. He said Isa Abdul and his boys had been responsible for several kidnap incidences in the area. The NAF spokesman added that Suspect is currently in the custody of the Nigerian Air Force undergoing interrogation, adding that he will soon be handed over to appropriate authorities for further action. The Nasara State Command of the Nigeria Police has arrested no fewer than 109 illegal minors in the state. The State Police Commissioner Umar Nadada made this known while parading the suspects in Lafia, the state capital, this Tuesday. Trustee Viz Abdullahi Abubakar sent in the report as presented from our studio. Operatives of the anti-kidnapping unit of the Nasarawa State Police Command effected the arrest raiding a Logan Hill in Nasarawa, a gun local government, with a view to arresting suspected kidnappers. The anti-kidnapping unit of the command in collaboration with vigilante group from Nasra Egon, a local government area, engaged a massive raid of some criminal hideouts at Alogani Hills in Nasra Egon local government area. They raided 
from Mada Station to Akama area with a view to arresting suspected kidnappers. The Commissioner of Police said the suspects are in the command's custody as investigations are ongoing to ascertain their individual level of involvement in the illegal mining for necessary actions. He explained that the command is partnering the state government through the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources to get rid of illegal mining, kidnapping and other criminal activities, especially at mining communities across the state. We are going to do more. We will continue to raid all the illegal miners in the state with a view to ensuring that the state move forward. Earlier, the Nasarawa Commissioner for Environment and Natural Resources, Yakobu Kwanta, said government had initiated a plan to profile artisanal miners in order to legalize their operations as provided by law to no avail. He commended the state command of the Nigerian police for the arrest, acknowledging that such efforts will go a long way in ensuring responsible mining in the state. We commend the National State Command of the Nigeria Police Force under the leadership of the Commissioner of Police, who has spent most part of his professional development as a senior police officer in the state before attaining his current status for this diligent operation that has apprehended these illegal artisanal miners in their hundreds. Quanta, who said, government recognizes the need for the protection of all mining communities in the state. He explained that artisanal miners would be given a second chance if they are ready to operate legally in the various mining fields in the state. And now to labor matters. Employees of Distillers and Blenders Association of Nigeria on Tuesday staked the protest at the Lagos Office of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control in the Isolo area of the state. Members of the association were seen with placards with many inscriptions such as Let Poor Nigerians Breathe, Let Beverage Workers Breathe, amongst others. Tuesday's protest was the latest in the string of demonstrations since February 1, 2024, when NAPDOC started the enforcement, the enforcement of the ban on alcoholic beverages in sachets and glass bottles of 200 milliliter and below. NAPDOC's boss, Mojisola Adeye had said no such beverages were registered with the NAFDAC. On February 13, 2024, members of the Food, Beverage and Tobacco Senior Staff Association of Nigeria gave NAFDAC 14 days to reverse its ban on sachet alcohol. And now away from that. The House of Representatives has passed the bill seeking the creation of state police for second reading. The bill, titled A Bill for an Act to Alter the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, to provide for establishment of state police and for related matters, was sponsored by Deputy Speaker Benjamin Okezie Kalu and 14 others. It was passed for second reading at plenary on Tuesday after intense debate for and against the bill. In his lead debate, one of the co-sponsors, Tolani Shagaya, said the bill was sponsored as a necessary response to several calls for a decentralized and community-oriented approach to law enforcement. He said the bill seeks to navigate the complex landscape of security challenges by empowering states with the means to address issues unique to their localities. Shagaya noted that the proposed alteration represents not just a legal adjustment to the nation's legal system, but a visionary leap towards a safer, more secure and harmonious Nigeria. The National Security Advisor, Noho Ribadu, has directed up operatives of the Nigeria Police Force, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the Nigeria Customs Service and the Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit to clamp down on forex market speculators. This, he said, was part of efforts to safeguard Nigeria's foreign exchange market and combat the activities of speculators, both domestic 
and international, operating through various channels. Ribado spoke through Zakari Minji Yawar, the head of strategic communications in the office of the National Security Advisor in Abuja on Tuesday. He said the office had to wade in at this time because some individuals and organizations had continued to undermine proactive measures of the CBN to stabilize the foreign exchange market and simulate economic activities. The NSA said by leveraging the expertise of those four security agencies, the government aims to deter what he described as malicious practices in order to protect investors' interests and promote sustainable economic growth. This is a news update on Trust TV, coming up shortly. It is sweet and good for your health. After the break, we'll tell you about the phenomenon of sugar cane. Should I keep quiet? Mm. And then we kept saying, can't we teach these people basic business, not hustling? Mm. Teach our people entrepreneurship, not hustling. Go to China, Guangzhou, different districts. They can turn fair. <laughs> Am I saying what you don't know? Yes, and do and you know why? Because we are coming from a sort of a, despite the narrative, anti-corruption, anti-corruption. But you know, the anti-corruption agencies went to sleep in the last eight years. However, if you are to go backwards and do a kind of audit, you will be shocked to find that the resources so far expended on the SDGs far outstrips the achievements face to face. Most of the time when you are involved, uh, it's difficult for you to draw back and have a holistic view. Mm -hmm. Because what? Sentiment would always come to play because all of us would definitely. I had, like I told you yesterday, I was 100% convinced that you cannot say you are qualified without bringing any document. And thank you kindly for staying with us. But if you're just joining us, this is the news update on Trust TV. Here is a look at a recap of some of our top stories. We told you that food prices on the decline as bulk purchases subside. Police raid kidnappers then apprehend 109 illegal miners in Nasarawa State. And now moving on to more stories. According to reports by the Corporate Affairs Commission, over 40 million businesses in Nigeria are unregistered. This staggering figure becomes even more puzzling when considering that for every registered business, there are approximately unregistered, approximately seven unregistered ones. Consequently, the Corporate Affairs Commission aims to implement stringent measures to address this issue. These plans were revealed during the Commission's one-day leadership retreat I have some instructions directed to the head of state offices that we must go back and generate the data of businesses taking place in the state. We will not condone any businesses taking place all over Nigeria without registration. So it's a matching order given to the heads of the state offices of the Corporate Affairs Commission and my management. We have been given a target of funds, over 120 billion for a year. So we are working towards that. We are turning down the activities. There is a partnership in the Corporate Affairs Commission now. We are working towards providing quality service to our customer. That is the most important thing. And secondly, my aim or my vision to ensure that CAC becomes the best place to work in Nigeria. No, no, no. The, the goal of Mr. President is to create is to create job for 50 million youths. And on our partner, CAC, we are working towards so that we will be on the same page with the President to achieve that same goals. On our part, this year alone, we are able to encourage small businesses more than 2.5 million so far. 
registered with the CAC this year alone, aligned with Mr. President's agenda. This is to unveil the Registrar General's uh, blueprint and way forward for the year so that everybody will be carried along, everybody will know their performance, uh, their target for the year and uh, means of achieving such targets. That's the main focus for this morning. And then to ensure that uh, we are carried along with the enforcement program of the Registrar General for the year. A general health consultant in Bochi State has advised Nigerians to consume more sugarcane as it contains vital minerals and vitamins that the body requires for healthy living. He gave the advice during an interview with Trust TV on the benefits of sugarcane, especially during the dry season. Trust TV's Adamu Imam files in this report. For many, taking sugarcane is just to savor its sweetness as they are unaware of the inherent health benefits. Sugarcane, among other things, improves human tissue and helps to relax and refresh the brain, making it function better. Those who are privileged to know the advantage of taking sugarcane do so often. That is why sugarcane vendors are usually seen moves from one place to another to satisfy the demands of potential customers. <laughs> We usually sell more during dry season because it is sweeter and the demand is higher. Our suppliers have increased the price to the extent that we barely have up to the five bunches we usually buy. I make at least 20,000 naira per day from selling sugar cane. For instance, we buy a big bunch of sugar cane at the rate of 15,000 naira and sell same for 20,000 naira. I like chewing sugar cane because it is sweet and even medical doctors do advise that sugar cane is beneficial to our body. According to them, it can clean our liver and contains glucose. Dr. Hassan Gerber, a general health consultant, emphasized the need for people to wash sugar cane thoroughly and consume without peeling the outer fiber, which according to him is beneficial to the human body. You are taking cold water maybe from your refrigerator which you got down and rushed down fast. And the body doesn't really like that when you rush down cold water. But when you take sugar cane, it is cool, refreshing you right from your mouth then into your bowel slowly because the bowel doesn't like you to rush cold water either. And even the brain, if you notice that when you drink a lot of cold water very fast, you get something called brain freeze. Your head will feel dull for some time until your body heats up everything that you've added into it, warms it up into its own temperature before you start to feel better. Sugar cane doesn't do that. And then the entire human body functions as foil with sugar. And they're giving it sugar as food. Some customers say they always enjoy taking sugar cane to reduce stress as well as an appetizer before the main meal. Adam Imam, Trust TV News, Bauchi. And now away from Nigeria, the United States has proposed a draft resolution at the United Nations Security Council calling for a temporary ceasefire in Gaza. It has also warned Israel against invading the overcrowded city of Rafah. The United States has previously avoided the, world, the word ceasefire during UN votes on the war. But President Joe Biden has made similar comments. However, the U.S. plans to veto another draft resolution from Algeria, which calls for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. More than a million displaced Palestinians who represent about half of Gaza's population, are cramped into Grafa after being forced to seek shelter there. The southern city, which borders Egypt, was home to only 250,000 people before the war. Many of the displays are living in makeshift shelters or tents in squalid conditions with scarce access to safe drinking water or food. The UN has issued its own warning 
that the planned Israeli offensive in the city could lead to a slaughter. And in sports, and out of football, Paris Saint-Germain striker Kylian Mbappe has agreed to join Real Madrid this summer. The France captain, 25, has told PSG he intends to leave the club with his contract expiring in June. Mbappe has not signed a contract with Real Madrid yet, but the deal could be announced once it is no longer possible for the club to meet in this season's Champions League. The World Cup winner is PSG's record goal scorer with 244 goals. Mbappe wanted his future sorted before March. So on 13 February, before training, he met PSG President Nasser al Hilafi and told him he was leaving and joining Real Madrid. After reports emerged last Thursday that he would leave, Mbappe was left out of the starting lineup for Saturday's match against Nantes but came off the bench to score a penalty as PSG went 14 points clear at the top of League One. He set to sign a five-year deal with Real Madrid earning 15 million euros a season, plus a 150 million euro signing on bonus to be paid over five years, and he will keep a percentage of his image rights. And that concludes the news update at this hour. But remember, you can always follow us across all of our social media platforms and also join our YouTube live stream for more news, programs and documentaries. I'm Aisha Saliu. Thank you so much for watching.